Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to female soldiers' fails military fitness test. Guys, we'll go straight into this. Look, there's a reason why 26 of the most physically fit women in the Marine Corps have failed out of this course. That reason is simple. When you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman, she crumbles like a fucking crouton. Look, one of the top comments even says, I'm a retired woman Marine. He's 100% correct. I was put through men's training in the 80s and 90s. I'm a very physically strong female, but I couldn't keep up to the men's standards. Yeah. It's a shame the British Army aren't as realistic. We are two friends, bro. Want to get up there. Want to get up there. Let's go. Not gonna happen. No, Whoa. not gonna happen. <laughs> All oh, thanks to what a man can do. How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> go around, just round, just round. So it's not quite what we expect at the moment. A bit painful to watch. Because it's a fucking waste of time, really. Another thing that was painful to watch was Chile's all female SWAT team competing in a SWAT competition and failing miserably. Vamos! Belarus, Thailand, Chile. Two teams from the Emirates. Oh! Oh, oh! The first one to get wet in the ice bath today. Well, they are stuck in the middle of that zip line. Have uh, three team members stranded. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Thankfully, the water will be a little bit warmer than it was. Oh, oh! Oh, Imagine this was a it's all situation. going horribly wrong. They will have to retrieve those uh, weapons from the ice bath. Yeah. All of the equipment. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> so this is an international SWAT challenge. And for some reason, Chile decided to send women there just to completely embarrass themselves. I mean, you first see this and you laugh, but then you realize if this was a real life situation, yeah. people would die. Imagine you're trying to sneak in somewhere dangerous and some donut falls off the zip line and just starts splashing in the water. You're dead. When it comes to life or death situations, we need to throw out all this box checking, inclusivity shit out the window. Snap down to the headlock, there we go. Hayden, hold it! Come on, Kaden! Don't give no wish. We just talked about this. We stay tight. There you go. Kaden, tight. Let's get past it. Oi! Nice! She's got nice! Oi! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Woo! Yes. This this one. Oh no! Snow no. Nothing against the lad, it's not his fault, he did what he had to do, but it's so stupid they allow boys to compete against girls, especially when they've just hit puberty. But I guess they better get used to it, because nowadays anyone can identify as whatever they want. Equality, man. <laughs> Does height matter in a guy? Height? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Step on the scale. What? <laughs> no. You don't ask So take it back. That. Okay, I take it back. All right. You're forgiven. Gotcha, bitch. Yes. What would you rate me out of 10? And for what purposes? <laughs> uh, out of looks. Of looks? You're a good six. Oh, six? Mm -hmm. What would you rate yourself? Nine. Oh! <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> if you're an adult trying to promote your OnlyFans by asking strangers stupid questions, then you're you're a fucking idiot. Yes. With the conversations, he and other children of color could go to a safe place during these conversations, and that's Whoa. segregation. Oh boy. And uh, your son's father, who's African American, how does he feel about all this? I'm a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Uh, let me explain something to you ladies. Okay, let me explain something to you. This is how transmission works. There's energy in the, in, in the motor, and then there's the wheels. And you want the energy to, to go to the wheels. And so the way it works is the transmission is full of gears. And they're moving, and they're coming together, and then there's a little thing called a little flywheel and a clutch plate. And, and that thing starts to spin, and there's friction, and as the friction builds, the... Uh, well, this is how we feel about Valentine's Day. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> You know what is don't touch my car maybe? <laughs> yeah. This is not your car, get out of here. Whoa. Keep your hands off my fucking car. Yeah, right. Frick. Sometimes we need to choose where we're safe in life. <laughs> That's a smart decision. Yeah. It reminds me of this story actually. Take a look at this. He saved a crocodile's life and they became best friends, but it came with a cost, his wife. While out fishing, Cheeto came across an injured croc that had been shot in the head. He's always wanted to befriend one, so he brought the 15-foot croc back to his house. His wife wasn't fond of that, especially since they had a one-year-old crawling around, so he moved Pocho the croc outside. Over time, he built trust with the croc. He started slow by touching his tail and eventually worked up to kissing on the mouth. He spent most of his time with the croc, so much so his wife left him. To that he said, I like my wife and I love her, but I can get another wife, not another Pocho. After months of nursing the croc back to health, he brought Pocho back to the river for release, but when he woke up the next day, Pocho was outside his house. He wouldn't leave Cheeto's side. The two were best friends. Pocho would even run to him when his name was called. Cheeto could jump in the water, wrestle with Pocho, and nothing would happen. The two remained best friends for 23 years until Pocho died of natural causes. No! Someone said so. Moral of the story is a two-ton natural killer machine is easier to live with than a wife. <laughs> You don't say that, bro. Ugh. Brother. Brother, ugh. What's that? Okay, so this is me and my, like, second set. And I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Pay attention to where you place this belonging. No. I'm working out right here. You want to do that thing, you want to right here. I, I, I have no place to act. So sure, do what you have to do. No, you're in my face. So at this point, I'm super aggravated because the sweat dripping in my eyes burning. He disturbed me in the middle of his set, and I got asthma, so I couldn't even defend my little corner. And then he all like, do what you gotta do. What that means, sir? I would say that she needs Michael, but because she's a gym donut, we're gonna say that she needs Joey. So you're upset with this man because you say he's in your personal space. I'm sorry. You don't get to set your tripod up to film next to a machine and call that your yes, personal please. space. Bye. That man has every right to use that machine and that space. And he even moves his bag back to not be in your video. Then you go tell him that he should go use the other machine, which he explains doesn't work right. But who do you think you are to tell someone what machines they can't or can't oh, use? Like... Then you go and support comments like this saying, it's because this man is white? Seriously? No, it's because you're entitled and you think you own the gym, which you don't, and you think you're a victim, which you're not. Yes. You need to do better. Mind your own business. If you can I do black people have a lot of this. Like I, I, I understand that what happened to us, but like red people in the US, they think it's like it's some kind of power they have now to like if you're white person to someone to be like, because you're racist, because you're white. So, like, you, we're no longer victims. Like, I feel we are equals now. The black man actually ruled the country. So I don't know why people are still playing this kind of victim card. Like, it's sad when I see it. Especially in movies or, let's say, TikTok, you see a black person trying to play victim. It's just irritating, to be honest. Look, I just... Handle me at my... <laughs> You don't deserve me at my ah! minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. So I'm gonna say at least two hundred. Two hundred grand? 
like 200. See, this is one of the big problems with dating. You've got too many below average women with shitty personalities thinking they deserve a top 1% man. That's why men need to stop simping and bring back balance. How old are you? 20. 19. How long you been together? Four years. When you go out together, who pays? Him. Most of the time. But, but I gotta make her pay sometimes because she be making me pay for everything. So, I make her pay for sometimes. You feel like it's too much pressure as a man to always be putting the money forth every single time? Yes, especially at her age because, I mean, I do make some money, but I don't be making bread like that, so. Do you ever feel like she might put pressure on you to spend? 100%, oh yeah. She spends a lot of money. No, I don't. She, spend, she always okay. He, he thinks that I spend a lot of money by wanting to go get coffee or go get whatever, and he thinks it adds up. But I think getting coffee every day is like a normal thing. It adds up. I know everyone's seen the like videos. It's, it's like you spend $27 a day that adds up to 10000 a year. I know that. And she wants to spend how much ever a day. So I know it adds up. But why not try to make it easier on your man and budget more? I just think it's the guy's responsibility. Like. I don't try to spend a lot of money, but if we do go out together, I expect for him to pay. Some of these younger girls are brainwashed to think that these yeah. younger guys are going to have money. It's normal that a 20-year-old guy doesn't have money. They've been watching too many TikToks thinking that these guys need to have six figures, be six foot. Most men don't become successful until later on in life, and I don't think she truly likes you if she's putting pressure on you to spend money when you say that you're struggling. She's a red flag. This guy's 20 years old. He needs to focus on himself and move on. Hey, babe. She's 100% a keeper. What about me being very disappointed in black men choosing other races, such as Spanish, white, and <laughs> Arabic? And look, what and, and you have a right to feel that way. But when you guys also say that y'all have the presence of a resting bitch face and, a, and expecting that man to kiss your ass to get to know you, it's a problem for me. Because my resting bitch face is sexy. That's it's how not. I feel. It's, it's not. a sexy It's head. disgusting. Okay, so what about That's what you think. That's your ego. That's what, no, what? it's not men. Thanks. All right, wait. Me? No man thinks it's that's sexy. Me. All right, so I'm just saying, you can be more approachable. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to disrespect you. Why? How Look, why? We, 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 look, you just proven my no, point. No, yeah. Don't waste your time with this Muppet. There's only one way it's ending. Cat lady. They're taking the role that girls used to have. They want to be wine dined in 69, which is the woman's place. It used to be the man was like less emotional and less toxic, I guess. And now, now it's both. So now it's an issue because we're both sassy. And a lot of men have become more feminine and a lot of women have become more masculine. I think men just need to man up in general and women need to stop trying to be men. Because in general, most women are not attracted to feminine men and most men are not attracted to masculine women. Would you say that someone should do quote unquote wifey things for their boyfriend? Or do you think they should wait till marriage? I don't think I'm the person to ask because I do wifey things. <laughs> My boyfriend is the person I want to marry, so. It depends on the person. I'm already doing those things. So what advice would you give to women that say, you gotta put a ring on it first? Well, they will, why would they put a ring on it? You gotta, yeah, you gotta just, give them a reason. It's not about looks. It's not all just looks. Yeah, she actually gets yeah. it, unlike the women that say they're not going to yeah, start yeah. acting like a wife until he makes me a wife. How do you expect a man to make you his wife if you're not acting like one? Most women would not give a guy a chance if he said, I'm not going to protect and provide for you until you marry me. Yeah. I went recently on a two-week trip to South America, and on that trip, I cheated on my boyfriend of two years. Oh boy. But the moment it happened, I instantly regretted it. I cry every day thinking about it. I love my boyfriend with all my heart. I couldn't possibly bear telling him the truth. What would Alex do? Oh no. You know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. Right, if she shit. If she ever cheat on you, just look, delete. Never forgive. I'll tell you, never forgive her. It happen again. But like, never, 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 never. Never forgive, never forgive, never. But like, I, I feel if you forgive, like, forgive, forget. But don't take her back. But like, back to this, I feel you should never allow a woman and a man fight. Yes, this should be our number one take on this. Never let them fight. The man will, I'll say 90%. 90% of the time, the man will always win. And don't just be in that situation. Never fight with the man. But guys, tell me about this. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.